guys, and welcome back to today's Escapists. It's day seven, episode four. Now, while we're doing roll call, I was thinking about this. You're actually going to be able to track how badly I'm doing using the in-game daytime and the episode number. So, the idea about it is, uh, well, who's doing the cell toss first? Let's find out. I need to, because of Gizzy and Mario. Yeah, it's not me. Anyway. So we're on day seven, but this is actually episode four, so there's already a lot of fail going on there. Now, if we get to, like, episode ten and we're on, like, day fifty, then we've been sucking. So let's hope it doesn't really increase anymore. The ratio needs to stay the same. Anyway, let's get today started then. So, as I said in the last episode, today, one goal I would really, really like to do... And I, there's, there's quite a few, but one I would really like to do is try and get our plan together. Figure out exactly what we need to do to escape this prison. Now, as I said, with this one, Fort Bamford, I think the only way out, or at least I've read the only way out, while we're just eating here, is to actually just get a red key and then get out that way and escape and start chopping down the fence. However, at the end of last episode... We dug underground a little bit, and I heard that there was concrete there, but apparently there isn't. Now, when people say concrete, that could mean two things. It could either mean there's concrete under the whole floor, and that's actually been changed, and oh, there's a fight going on here. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Morange. You've only got some soap as well, man. Look, you got into a fight, you got into yourself a state like that, and you didn't even drop the soap. You, you need to learn how to prison. Oh, what am I doing? It's my janitor job. Okay, I'm getting out of track here. So, I'm really not sure where we stand with the concrete flooring thing. Because if it isn't just underneath the whole thing, it could still be there. It could be just a bit closer to the escape fence or that outer fence. The, the escape fence! Yeah, that's the official term for it. But it could be that as well. So, even though it seemed like digging underneath might actually work, I still really don't know if it is. And we're not going to find that out for at least another couple episodes, because the only way we could do that is to actually go to the end of the fence and see for ourselves. I mean, you can probably guess, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. But that's alright, I really do want to start checking out this red key possibility. And a great way we could do that is if we collected a bunch of molten chocolates, because that way... Oh my god, there's, there's a bunch of people past... Oh god, I want that glass shank so bad. So bad, just just go through, man. Come on, officers, stop going through. Okay, cameras. Cameras are gone. Take the glass shank. Yes, I didn't get caught. Now, how the hell do I get it through here? Um, <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to do the toilet method again. I'm going to have to do this. Okay, there's no guards there. Okay, just go through really quickly. I'm at 99%. But actually, wait, wait, let me just, let me hide in here. No one will catch me here. Wait until my heat goes down. Then I've acquired myself a fancy little glass shank. Yeah, Matthew, just keep on walking, man. Just, just I'm not, I'm not in here. I've completed my janitorial job. I'm somewhere else doing something else. Yeah, let's equip that as well. Oh, a glass shank though. Yes, please. Maybe we don't want to equip it. Oh, oh, what are you? Okay. Yes, just ignore me. Sure. I'm going to put that in there. I'm at 89%. I think I'm all right. Am I yes, they're not going to get set off. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we just acquired a glass shank out of nowhere. Not, not that I'm complaining. All right, afternoon roll call. Watch me get searched now. I'm calling it right now. Watch me get searched. I guess while we're waiting, what's everyone selling? We have 60. We have $69. I didn't even notice that. Uh, what have you got on thee then, man? Oh, you got some duct tape. That's always nice. No one else, no one else selling anything. Eh, all right. And uh, wait, no, Gizzy, I didn't check. Alex, what are you selling? Sorry, yeah, you had a crafting note. don't really, really want to buy a crafting note. I mean, a lot of you guys said in the comments that you should buy them every single time. I do kind of agree with that, but I don't know. I feel like waiting and just finding them in people's desks. And nice, we're safe again. I feel like just kind of finding them in people's desks, even though there's a lower chance of it, it's kind of a better way to do it because then we're not spending money. And my God, my fro just looked amazing. I, th <laughs> I thought I was Shangalot skin with my hair. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Shangalot just grew a fro out of nowhere. I love it. So now that we have the glass shank, actually, we're going to have another way to kill people. I mean, we, we, we could have got one anyway. But going back to the hot chocolate thing, I haven't forgotten about that. That's how I actually see us getting a bunch of these keys. Because if you don't know about hot chocolate, basically you get a lighter, some chocolate, and a cup. Craft those together. I don't think you even need that high intellect for it. But you craft those together, and that will actually be a one-hit kill, no matter who the person is. I mean, well, as long as you can attack them, like, you can't attack the employment officer or the warden or anything, but 
if they're an officer, an inmate, whatever, it is a guaranteed one-hit kill. And that's really, really cool, because I want to be as sneaky as I can when it comes to getting keys, and as safe as I can. And I kind of already ran over this in the last episode, but how I would like to do it, and actually that's enough training for now, I can kind of show you. How I would like to do it is come right over to my cell. I'm orange, you haven't got anything on you, it doesn't matter. Come right over here, just in this kind of area, so we don't have to go through any detectors or anything like that. Wait by my cell, wait until an officer comes around, because again, it's just random officers that we have to pick off. Hit him with the chocolate, get my all of my mold and my plastic, uh, my molten plastic ready, craft it up, go back out of my cell, put it back on him. No one's the wiser, and I suddenly have a key. And hopefully that's a red one, because that's what we're going to need. That's how I would like things to go. Is that how things are going to go? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let, let's, let's hope. I'm not going to put myself down just yet. I'm in prison. I'm down enough. Let's escape. I need Dave laid out on the floor. I'd do it myself, but the guards have me in their scopes. How about it? Poop butt. I'm not taking any damaging requests just yet, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do my own thing. Be as powerful as a cat and Shangalot just walked past his desk and actually I'll grab the comb blade out of there, might as well. What you got in your desk, Dave? What you got, man? Let's take a look. Uh, nothing I need. I'm really just looking for a cup now. I have the chocolate, I have the lighter. If we can get a cup, then right away we can start doing that. Oh, well, no, we need to get the molten plastic first soon as well. However, who's gonna go down? Move along me! No! No, no, no! Okay. Okay. That's profiling. Oh, no, it's not. It's just because I was uber late to dinner. Because I wasn't tracking the- <laughs> I wasn't tracking the things we had to do. And it's all- oh my god, days in this go by so fast. It's unreal. And I am still sticking really quickly as well. I feel like I should probably mention it. I am still gonna stick to my one day per episode in game time kind of thing. But again, I'm doing these daily as well. So yeah, that kind of works out all right. And that, that was that was a lot of damage coming down there. Hopefully that wasn't by Officer Bruce. It was, it was Officer Bruce. I haven't forgotten about what you did to me, man. That plus or that negative six damage. I know where that damage came from and, and it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't your taser. Or your baton. You don't have tasers here. Thank God, because otherwise you would have used that. And, uh, <laughs> just keep crying and training, Yoshi. <laughs> crying and training. It's, it's, it's how you do it. I would have loved to have got a prisoner stash today as well. Again, I have this weird obsession, apparently, in this mini-series with prisoner stashes. I haven't actually had that obsession with any of the other games I've played. And Oh, I thought I was getting attacked there. <laughs> with, with any of the other games of the escapists I've played. I don't know why. I just feel like a s prisoner stashes are really, really useful right now. Ah, but we have an exercise period distraction. I will take that. We haven't even checked these. What? Um, okay, we didn't miss one. Distraction exercise period we can do next episode. Locate a watch and beat up Dave. I'm actually going to take the beat up Dave down. They're both for Mo. Again, I don't really want to do any beat up ones just yet. I don't feel like we're far enough in the game. Far, far enough in the game just yet to actually properly be doing that. So... I'ma turn them all down. Oh, some more fights going on. Can we get some epic loot? Also, we got free time. I might as well just do some more desk searching. We really haven't done that much of it. Um, Oi, Foda! Foda, stop it! And, and you, <laughs> you ended up getting beaten up. And I... Yeah. I mean, shaving cream... I know you can use that to mask over the cameras. I, what else can that be used for? Crafting-wise. I don't know. Mario, what you got? You got a sock and a mop. Wow, you're rolling in the high money, you see. Okay, is he gonna come up here? He is. I need to wait for a guard not to come up here. I'm gonna check Mario's phoners, Moranges, and Poop Butt's desk. Let's go at this, right? Mario, have something good? No. Okay. Phoner, have something good? Oh, you got a sheet of metal. I'd be an idiot not to take that. And also, Gizzy's selling stuff now. Gizzy, what are you selling? Tub of talcum powder, step ladder. Never had the use for one of those in this game yet. Still don't know when you would. Uh, med kit. Uh, no, no, I'm good for that. But let's check Morange's desk. What you got going on, Morange? What you got? You, you, you haven't got anything going on. And finally, poop button. God, there's also a prisoner stash here. I still do. I, I, oh, the foil we can use for a contraband pouch. Pouch? Pouch. I was going to say bag, and I formed the two words. Oh, it's a pouch. Nice. That fills up everything just enough as well. The dirt we can get rid of. Let's flush that away. Here's what I want to do as well. I re I need to figure out what it is to make the wad of putty because it's it's combining two of these kind of items like tube of toothpaste, super glue. But I can't remember exactly which items you need to combine. Um, 
I mean, it's not a roll of toilet paper. I, th I feel like that's papier mache, isn't it, or something? Uh, super glue. Yeah, see, that's six more intellect, and that's gonna be papier mache, which we don't really want, actually. But I know it's definitely something to do with this. It's like toothpaste and maybe shaving cream. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I doubt it. No, get that out of there. No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll figure that out next time. And if you want to leave a comment letting me know how to do that properly, I could just look it up. But if you want to leave a comment, do it anyway. As I was saying, no, I do, when it comes to the keys as well, really want to get a yellow one. Because that's going to unlock, like, every prisoner's stash. And actually, let's do this properly this time. Let's go around the prison and figure out how many we could get. So there's one there. There's one up there as well. There's one there. So that's three. There's a fourth right there. There's, there's Morange just passed out with some food on him because why not? Moe's always hungry, apparently. We have one there as well, so that's four. We can have four prisoner stashes right away, and that will be amazing. So, I don't know. I think I'd be an idiot not to take that up, really, on its offer. Not that, not that there's just an offer there, like an officer going, Oh, yeah, have a yellow key just for free. I'm, I'd love that, but no, it's not gonna happen, is it? What else could I do here? We have to molten make the molten plastic for the mold in the key I know that's a lighter and like a comb or a toothbrush So we could do that. Do we have enough just yet? We need six more. You know what? You know what? I'm probably already too late on this I should have taken the opportunity when I went up there earlier We've probably run out of time But I am gonna go to the library and see if we can get some six more intellect because that was, a, that was the other thing We had one intellect left last time. I think it was actually trying to make the exact same thing wasn't it? It was trying to make the molten plastic, so let's do this. I'm not gonna do any more than that. I know that isn't six, but last time I did it, I cut it so close, I only just caught the tail end of the names. And we do actually have a lot of contraband in our desk now, so I can't really afford to be missing this. Oh well, Gizzy, you selling anything different? You're selling some more foil. I mean, actually, that's the point. Before we go to sleep as well, if I have some duct tape too, which I think I do, let's try and make a contraband pouch. That could be really useful for getting some more items. Anyway, who's about to get searched? What is it? Dave and Alex. I'm always safe. We haven't had a single search here yet. Officer Sam, you're so fit to relieve my- No, I'm not taking down an officer. Damn. Guys, I don't know what it- What about me seems like I could beat people up? Cle I, well, my, my strength is actually pretty good, but clearly I'm not a fighter. Guys, stop asking me. Give me distractions. I'll do that to your heart's content. You need a distraction. Frozif is the guy you come to. All right, I feel like I need to get an actual fro to put on while I'm playing this game. I actually had that thought. I saw one in the store. I was so tempted to pick it up. Maybe I will, but I, I don't know how I'd look with a fro. And I don't even know why I'm discussing this. So one last time. Let's see. Do we have enough? Two more intellect. No, I didn't think we got enough time in. And actually, we don't have any duct tape, so we can't make a contraband pouch either. But next episode, we will be able to do that if we get a roll of duct tape. We can combine that with our foil, and that is a pouch right there. Anyway, for today, I'm going to go to sleep in the escapist. Thank you guys for watching. I have been Yoshida Mario, or Frozif, in this game. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until tomorrow, I will see you all a little bit later.